Hey guys, welcome back. So I hope everything is going really, really well for all of you. Um, today we are going to be doing a quick check-in to see what's going on in the collective of Divine Masculines and Divine Feminines. And yeah, um, since Thanksgiving is around the corner, I just want to take this opportunity and just express my gratitude for all of you for the personal readings and just for all of your support in general um, to me and to my channel. Um, yeah, I appreciate it like so, so much. I hope you all enjoy Thanksgiving if you are in the United States. And yeah, so I think that's about it. So let's get into this. Do keep in mind that it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But if you want a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. And yeah, let's see. We're going to start with the masculines and then we will take a look at the feminine's energy as well. So let's see, what is currently going on for the masculines? All right, we have journey. Okay, so this could be very literal, like some of them could actually be going away, possibly for the holidays. Um, but of course, for it to even show up, it does mean that there is some significance to that, okay? It's more than just a journey. For others of them, it's figuratively speaking, it's like moving away. All right, moving away from something, taking like a new journey, getting on a new path. And it could even just be a way of thinking, but it feels like it's actually very significant. It's like literally leaving something behind and crossing a bridge. Okay, so that's what it, how it's coming in. And it also gives me the sense that there have been signs that have been pushing the masculine towards this direction, okay? Now, for those of them where this is actually literal, again, it's the universe pushing for this um, trip, journey, whatever, because there's some other hidden significance behind that, okay? So maybe it will come through. We'll see what that is about. Let's see what else. All right, and we have um, the number three from this deck, which is passivity. And this is all about allowing other people to make decisions for you, giving away your power, um, not exercising your own free will. So I feel like whatever this journey is, it's going to be addressing this issue because this particular masculine that we're tapping into today is someone who has been pretty passive, not really taking control over their own life and just possibly expecting others or just waiting for others to make decisions for them or just allowing them to do so. All right, so let's get just a couple more and then we'll get into the tarot. So what else is going on here for this masculine? <laughs> and right at the last minute, I also had the free will card um, pop out. So we have separation, crossroads, and surrender, as well as the free will card. Okay, so there's definitely, um, this is definitely a masculine that you are in separation with, or some type of a separation, okay, because it could mean a whole bunch of different things. Um, This crossroads is reminding me actually of that journey card. So I feel like what's happening here is that this journey that they are taking, okay, again, whether it's going to be literal or um, figurative, it is really going to get them to surrender to the fact that they are in pain over the separation, number one. And number two, it's really going to bring to their awareness how much of their power they have been giving away to other people. And when I say other people, I mean, it could even just be society in general, overall. Like how much is their free will being um, controlled by society's conditioning, expectations, beliefs, etc. So it's really gonna put them in this place of just surrendering to the fact that, you know, they need to make their own choice here and they're going to be placed at that crossroads. So let's get into the tarot. Let's see what is going on here. I do feel like this might resonate more for those of you where your masculine is actually taking a physical trip. 
but definitely does not have to be, okay? It could be that there is something else happening in their life that is also affecting them in the same way as what we're getting here. Let's see. Let's see. All right, so we have the Sun, the Fool, and the Nine of Swords in reverse. Yeah, so whatever whatever this is, all right, it, it is some kind of a new journey here, all right? It's that's presenting itself here as well with the Fool. It's shining a lot of light on what it is that has kept them in the, the state of pain and what it is that they need to do in order to get out of it. All right, so we are going to clarify some of these. Um, this is this sun is representing a lot of truth, a lot of truth that is coming in. Whatever this journey is, whatever this trip is that they are taking or some kind of an event that is taking place I'm just getting that it's coming up, and it, but it could be something that is already taking place currently as we're speaking. It's, it's like opening their eyes to like a huge truth about needing to do things differently, having to take initiative in a way that they have not done so before, all right, because they've been so passive, giving their control away to others. Uh, let's get... Let's just get a few more just to see their energy towards their feminine. So what is their energy towards their feminine currently? All right, the Knight of Swords in reverse, the Five of Pentacles, and the Moon in reverse. So there is a lot of, I'm telling you, a lot of awareness here. Having that moon being in reverse, and we have the sun um, upright here. It's like being able to, to see certain things. What was repressed? How were they themselves creating that nine of swords energy, that stress, that pain that they have been going through? Because it's been there. And... For a lot of them, it was repressed. It was repressed, but it's not repressed anymore. That's the thing here. Obviously, having the Knight of Swords in reverse, there's not much action that they're taking towards you at the moment. Um, and this seems to be bugging them. I feel like at the moment... They're feeling, they're feeling a loss, all right? So for those of you who are in separation, and this separation could be something that you've been in for a long time, and for others of you, it could be something that is more recent. At the moment, though, they're feeling very much alone. And I do feel like for a lot of them, this is going to be related to, to the holidays as well. So let's clarify a couple of these. This is general, right? Let me just <laughs> remind everybody of that. So it's not going to be as specific. Okay, cards acting up. All right, let's see. Let's clarify that top row. All right, the Knight of Swords in reverse again. All right, I see. So, and this is why the Knight of Swords is right under the sun, and then we're getting the Knight of Swords clarifying the sun. Um, again, in reverse. There's, there's a truth that was hidden that is coming up. Not only about themselves, but they're finding out truths for other things in their life. Like, something is coming up to the surface. And in some way, this truth, whatever it is, it's helping them to understand something about, about themselves and about how that relates to the connection with their Divine Feminine. And for a lot of them, this is going to come up 
during this trip. All right, so interesting. It could be anything. It could be anything. I can't even think of an example, but it could just be like a family dynamic, for example. It could be something, if it's a work-related trip, it could be um, something that happens, something that they witness, and it just brings something to their awareness, especially concerning their passivity and how much they allow others to have controlled them. And this is bringing them um, into that awareness of, yeah, not having taken action towards what it is that would make them happy, taking their own initiative, all right, working towards that, because we also have the Eight of Pentacles here, and we also have the Knight of Cups. So this is focusing on the action that needs to be taken from the heart. And by coming into this energy of the Knight of Cups, as opposed to the Knight of Swords in reverse, that's what's going to get them out of stress, out of this pain that they are, that they are in. Because the Knight of Swords in reverse is also not very honest, right? So within that passivity, they were not being honest to themselves or even to others. So let's see this bottom one. All right, Seven of Pentacles in reverse and the Three of Wands in reverse. And then we also have the Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, we're getting a lot of Knights here. Um, and I do like that we got the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles upright because these are the two best Knights, at least in my opinion. Um, yeah, so this is representing the passivity and the fact that they were not investing. It's like this masculine was was not investing, not doing anything, not taking the steps. I feel like this masculine has pretty much, um, for the most part, given up, even though that's about to change, all right, from what I'm seeing here. Um, there's this energy of just not doing absolutely anything, not even having expectations of their own self to do something. And it's like they, there was a part of them that was actually expecting to see some results, though, like waiting for something else, and that just didn't happen. I mean, the Seven of Pentacles and the Three of Wands in reverse, that's something having happened that was not expected or plans that were made getting canceled, for example. Um, so for some of you, yeah, there could definitely have been some plans that you made that were canceled recently or are getting canceled. Um... Currently, okay, because that is showing up as well, but for the most part, for the most part, this is things just not working out in the way that they would have expected. Like, them not taking action, it's like, in their minds, they thought that that was going to be associated um, with a different type of a result for their own self. But what ended up happening is they're feeling alone. They're feeling alone here, feeling at a loss, just really, really lonely, basically. And yeah, and that's why then we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles is because this is like taking that new path here, getting on a different path, which is based on awareness rather than on, on repressing what they are feeling. So something big is really coming up for them to see. And in some way it's going to be related to to some kind of a trip that they are taking or even to canceled plans. So take that however it might resonate if it does. So let's let's see what's going on with the feminines.
All right, and for you, we have the Temple Path. All right. I don't know how aware you might be of this, um, but the feminists in this particular group, you you are on your path, and you might not even really um, realize it. And I do feel like things are happening for you. Like you might be going through something very intense, and that's because you are aligning with the temple path. But because of what, because of the intensity of what you might be going through, you might not be able to fully like understand that this is what it is. All right, and we have number 10, which is advice. And I also see this as support, right? Having support either from other people in your life or from the universe. And it's kind of like the same thing because even if someone is coming in to your life, which is giving you some sort of support, some kind of guidance, might not even be related to this, but it just helps you on a spiritual level, on a psycholog psychological level, that is actually sent to you by the universe to give you that, that support because right now, I do feel like things are feeling pretty intense for you. Like it can get, and it can get pretty heavy as well. Let's get a couple more. All right, and we have release, tribe, and fresh start. Okay. Yeah, you're definitely going through a lot here. Um, I do get that you are in the process of releasing the masculine here, which is leading you to having a fresh start or like a new start or just a new way of trying to live your everyday life. Um, and for others of you, this is also you just releasing other people in your life in general, like people who are not resonating with you because your, your vibration is shifting and it's shifting pretty rapidly. And so you just cannot... Um, sustain relationships that are not a match and so yeah you are releasing people from your life you are releasing possibly friendships even even family um co-workers whatever maybe just um certain social circles in general and this is all a part of your ascension it's a part of your progress forward okay so do know that don't be discouraged if you're feeling alone or, you know, if, and sometimes it's that people are being taken away from you. Like it might not even be you who's doing this. You might just feel like it's just happening, but it's happening for a reason because it's helping you to release what is not in your highest good, what is not a match for you. And it can be tough in the beginning, but it's leading to a fresh start, all right? It's giving you the opportunity to then eventually have people in your life who will be able to support you and who will be a match for you. And again, I do feel like for a lot of you, it's also releasing the expectations that you may have had from your masculine and having to deal with that, which is not always easy. All right, yeah, we have the Emperor in reverse, the Six of Swords in reverse, and the World in reverse. Yeah, Femis, <laughs> it's not easy. It's not easy. It can feel like, it feels like you're losing control. It feels like, it, it can feel like you're losing control. It can feel like, you know, some, you're, you're having to close out things in your life that feel like they were incomplete. Like it never got a chance to fully close out, yet you're finding yourself having to close it out anyway. And that can be really hard to allow something to um, just be left in the past and you to move on. So I do get that there is some resistance here, but but that's okay. It's it's not easy. It's not meant to be easy. All right, just as I was saying. And yeah, you know, for a lot of you, this is also a big part of this is also having to release your masculine. And I feel like for some of you, you've been doing this for a while, and then for others of you, it's um, something is happening which is kind of forcing you to to release. And yeah, that that can be intense, but it is throwing you on the right on the right path here. Let's get one more row for you. I 
and they are all in reverse. Yeah, this is definitely telling me that you are not having the best time of your life at the moment. Uh, so it's the Five of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords all in reverse. All right, so Spirit is saying yes. You know, it can be, it can be difficult. Um, but this is, anything that you're going through right now, it's helping to remove drama from your life, especially drama concerning other people. And it can be hard because, again, just like the masculine also have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, um, things just are not the way that you had expected. You know, like you may had you had different hopes, you had different expectations. It didn't work out that way, and for that reason, it's like you're being forced to to now release those expectations. And it's easy to sometimes, you know, lose sight of that bigger picture. And, you know, to even possibly feel weak at times. It's okay. It's okay. Know that you're going to come out of this. And you are. There's like a new start for you, like right around the corner. And the masculines are just, you know, going through their lessons. And this is something that is helping you, even if it doesn't feel like it. So yeah, um, they're, they're about to really see something big here. Some truth is going to be um, coming out in the open and it's going to be slightly different for each of them. That's why I can't get anything specific for that. But what I can do is just get just one or two cards just to see um, what they're moving towards. For the masculines, what is coming up? All right, so we have the Knight of Cups in reverse, the Two of Pentacles in reverse, and the Ace of Cups. All right. So they're not, in the very near future, I don't see them fully coming forward towards their feminine. And the reason why is because there's still a lot that they are juggling with. I feel like there's, they're being overloaded with a lot of things just from different areas of their life at the moment, at least, all right, for what is coming up. But we do have this Ace of Cups. And I feel like that is because... Actually, there's also another message coming through, but let me finish this one, all right? That, that is because of what it is that they have realized here. Whatever it is that their eyes are being opened up to, especially concerning their them being passive, having been passive, and allowing other people to make decisions for them, even if it was on an unconscious level. Like, they weren't even realizing that. So this is, like, fully representing that self-love. And then having to actually find solutions to be able to express that self-love, which means to actually go after what it is that they want, to use their own free will for what it is that they truly feel in their hearts and to follow their hearts. Now, the second message that I'm getting here is that this is actually the masculine following that Ace of Cups, following their hearts, and not giving in, not giving their heart or their power away in that sense, right? The, the emotional aspect of that um, to other people who are trying to either manipulate them or like play with them, like juggle them around. All right, because this is also representing the masculine doing that because the masculine can also do that. And so it kind of goes back and forth with these other people. That's the message I'm getting here. And so this is actually what they're breaking away from, not allowing others to dictate what their heart does or what their heart wants them to do or making decisions about their emotions for them, not allowing others to dictate that, even on a non-conscious level. 
finding that that self-love so I hope that made sense because it came through kind of weird um, but that was the best way that I could actually express that so let's get an oracle card to see any final messages that want to come through All right, and we have happy, happy. Yeah, this is the masculine's following their bliss, basically. Coming into that place of understanding what is it that makes me happy, right? The very first card out that we had was the sun, which also does talk about happiness, but it's like real, authentic, genuine happiness. And that's exactly what this is. And going after that, which of course, that is their divine feminine, right? Or a part of that, a part of that is their divine feminine, but they have to be in that happy space first. So let's get one more, just any message from the masculine's higher self to you. All right, so the masculine's message to you is have patience. Love is patient and kind always. Yeah, and I'm seeing that also not, it doesn't necessarily need to be waiting for them, all right? Don't be patient and waiting for them. Just be patient overall, right? It, and with what you're going through things are happening in the way that they should. Have patience with yourself. Yes, have patience with the masculine, but without necessarily, you know, clinging and having expectations waiting. So yeah, that is it. I thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will talk to you guys soon. Much love.